Welcome to the woods. <laughs> that sounded a little bit creepy. Welcome to West Woods. Um, I'm back in my old stomping ground. Uh, and the woods looks completely different now. Um, obviously I've missed autumn in this particular woods. Um, so I wanted to come back here just to see what it was like in its uh, dead state. There are a few bits of colour kicking about uh, on the little saplings, uh, the odd one here and there. But as a whole, it's very derelict, shall we say. Derelict is probably quite a good uh, way to describe it. Uh, there is lots of nice orange, obviously, on the, on the ground, but not very interesting in terms of a large foreground if you know what I mean. Um, I think this is why I'm walking around with the 7200 on and I'm because I am seeing things in the distance uh, more so than obviously right at my feet um, and this bush is helping me separate cut the sky out and just confine my shots within that sort of middle to middle to sort of three quarters way up the tree that tends to be where I am seeing my images at the moment although I haven't I am not seeing a lot <laughs> there's no mist it's very gray and flat which is kind of it's just kind of good for, for woodland photography um, it, the light's very even so you haven't got to deal with any sort of dynamic range issues. The, the main issue I'm struggling with is lack of colour so I want to go eerie, sort of an eerie feel which means I want to cut the sky out and pick out some sort of spooky looking shots but any sort of thinner twigs, branches or any leaves that are still on the trees are blowing in the wind and just causing me uh, sharpness issues um, because it is dull and grey there isn't a lot of light like I've just said so I need I'm having to boost my eye so that last image I sh uh, I just took or the, the only image I've took so far was around 1250 to a thousand ISO just trying to get my shut speed up to at least a 30th of a second and then I've been playing around in uh, with my f-stop because I was zoomed right in to sort of 100 mil, which puts you right up close to the the sapling and which is throwing the background out bl uh, into blur so I've, I've dropped my f-stop opened it up to f9 and just accepted the fact that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of focus stacking to give me that depth of field that I want uh, yeah so these are little things that um, keep you keep challenging you even though you think the light's flat, there's always something like the wind um, which keeps you on your toes. So I, I'm just walking around uh, a little area of woods that I keep coming back to because I know there's shots here. Uh, whether there is today, I'm not entirely sure. There is an image behind me which I took. Uh, I'll put it on the screen now so you can see. But as you can see from this shot, Again, it wasn't ideal, it was very dark, but there was colour, there was atmosphere. Uh, and now you look at it and it's 
very gloomy and derelict. <laughs> so yeah, come come back to your locations and in different weathers, different different seasons, and uh, in your knowledge of the area will just will just go up tenfold, uh, which will obviously make you. Uh, a better photographer in this area. <laughs> it will make you a better photographer, trust me. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have a little scout around, see what I can find. But I'm keeping this on me at all times, just in case I see any wildlife. Who knows? I have found an absolute beautiful shot. Uh, what I was saying earlier about the ambient light being very flat, well, the sun is right above me and just filtering some lovely light which is catching a tree uh, on the left hand side. And it's got these lovely mushrooms. Uh, I don't know what sort of mushrooms they are. Um, I'll have to put them, put them on the screen now, uh, so you know uh, if I can find them. That is, uh, and there's a little sapling with some orange, uh, some uh, autumn leaves still on it, and it just frames just lovely with the, with the side the ambient side light. It's just absolutely stunning. Uh, as you can hear, <laughs> I think um, I'm no expert on shooting, but I think uh, that is gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, mind you, they can't miss me. I don't look like a pheasant, do I? So we should be pretty safe. But back to my back to my image. I got distracted by the gunfire. Uh, I'm around ISO 800, 13th of a second, f9. Now that is throwing everything in the background out at f9. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I like that or not. Uh, I'm probably going to play around with the with the f-stop and just see if I can. Uh, increase that depth of field. The trouble is I'm around 150 mil. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm quite close to, to, the, to the mushroom, the tree and the sapling, uh, which again is causing depth of field issues. Uh, it's really throwing the background out, uh, which I can sort out by increasing my f-stop to say f16. Um, but then with the case polarizer, I'm struggling for shutter speed to freeze the action on this sapling. Uh, it needs, I, I do believe it needs to be still. Um, the only other option is to take multiple exposures uh, focused in different areas of the frame using a nice sharp aperture of f9. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. I want to try and get this in one image. Um, I'm already going to have to spend <laughs> hours editing the previous shot. I can already feel it. So I, I would like to get this in one frame. Because uh, there's quite a lot of moving areas in the image. Uh, stacking multiple shots with moving objects is just um, an absolute nightmare. Uh, because obviously that, that sapling is a focal point and the background is directly behind it. So anything that moves in the background, which I've taken in a different exposure, it's going to be hard to blend in that tree. Uh, so I'm going to try and get it in one frame. Uh, I might I might boost up my ISO a little bit, uh, maybe to sort of 1250, and then which which will allow me to increase my f-stop, which will give me a greater depth of field. But we'll see. But yeah, what a what a find! I did have to trek through waist-high brambles uh, and cut all my legs but 
uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. So yeah, just a quick note on the case polarizer. Um, I have been torn. Ooh, <laughs> that's getting closer. I have been torn from using a polarizer uh, in the woods, uh, more so in the mornings, just due to the shutter speed. If it's breezy, it, it does make it hard work. But in a shot like this, because I've got directional side light or ambient sort of coming from diagonal down, uh, the side light does just help cut through a little bit of that glare. Uh, well, I can tr control it pretty much. I can sort of manipulate the way the light hits my subject. Uh, and also, the, 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 the brambles that I've just talked about walking through, the reason I've walked through them and got closer is so I can get an elevated position and look down a little bit and just frame my shot with no foreground because these brambles look just look blah, hideous, just make the shot look an average shot. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to um, put across that I am in a wilderness forest. Uh, I Although I'm, try although I'm not, I'm trying to give that impression that we are somewhere else. I'm trying to transform the viewer think into thinking, I wonder why that is, that looks amazing. Not, then brambles look distracting. So that's the reason I'm using a polarizer and why I've got a little bit closer and why I'm using the long lens. I want to zoom in and, uh, and grab that shot. A little, sh a little notice, uh, a little, little tip that I keep forgetting. Um, is I don't turn the steady shot off on the uh, the lens. I noticed I didn't do it earlier, uh, and I know it probably won't make a huge amount of difference, but every little helps. So if you are using a telephoto lens, um, then I would advise or any lens, sorry, uh, on a tripod that's got steady shot or sta uh, in body stabilization or steady shot. Turn it off because uh, that lens is is still hovering around and you've already got a steady base with your tripod. Well, I've waffled on far too long. Let's have a little play. Right, so I'm taking a mixture of f-stops, f, f9, around to f, f16, f, I can't get the shutter speed that I want. It's such a shame that it's not steel. Uh, I, and I do believe that, that that little sapling needs to be needs to be sharp. Um, so yeah, it's, the telephoto lens is quite hard in the woods in, in terms of um, depth of field. It's very hard to sort of get everything in sharp focus without, unless you focus stack. Um, so I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. I might shoot at f. Let's just say f f9. Uh, and I'll do a front and back and then I'll try and try and stamp them together in Photoshop but Yeah, it's just a lovely scene. Uh, like I've already said but like I've already said earlier, it's uh, It's quite challenging, but it is a lovely scene to, uh, to photograph Right, I think I'm gonna head off. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the video there, um, but before I go um, I have got something very exciting in the pipeline uh, and <laughs> as frustrating as it is that I mentioned it, I cannot tell you what it is just yet. Um, I've got a big, a big project planned uh, with a certain brand, shall we say, uh, which I'm very excited about. And uh, by the time you've seen this video, I would have actually have already started the project. Uh, so you're gonna have to wait until the week after. Uh, next week's uh, video to uh, to get a glimpse of what what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I've got a big trip planned next year, a multi multi day camping trip, which I'm going to vlog um, and photograph the journey. Uh, and uh, I need some whatever I'm <laughs> whatever I'm planning has something to do with a slightly longer trips. So uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to work with the brand. I'm very excited to get going. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say right now. Um, but yeah, as you can tell by the grin on my face, <laughs> this is a, nin a happy ninja. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll leave you with that and I'll leave you with the images I took today. Uh, this is West Woods in, uh, in Wilkshire. And uh, 
hope you have a good weekend and a, and a nice chilled Sunday. Ciao, bye for now. See you later. Thank you.